Not once in my life have I thought I'd see a game that has more genre types than frames per second. But not only that, this is the game of my dreams. I've always wanted a survival, zombie, RTS, MMO, FPS, battle royale, puzzle, team based, solo, adventure game with exploration, obviously, RPG and point and click elements. This might just be a dream come true for me. Yes, I was sarcastic with the intro, obviously, because this game just seems like a total mess and acid flip, but we'll get into that just now. Now, this game is called The Front. So, The Front takes place in a post-apocalyptic sandbox landscape populated with zombie-like mutants and hostile factions. So, in another reality, an empire took over the world and is enacting a global citizen policy. Using monitoring devices and ruthless will to kill and advancing technology, the empire seeks to change mankind forever. Already stripped from their freedom, faith and in many cases, life. Humans are on the verge of finally losing what they call home. The surviving members of the humanity resistance are hoping to use time travel technology to return to the past and correct the course of history. But you just have to look at the game trailer to see exactly what I'm talking about here. This game is abnormally, obnoxiously, just a big mess. The trailer starts off with footage taken from a development version of the game, not representative of the final product. And then it transitions to like this mythical, nice, beautiful place that seems like it's coming out of an anime, a beautiful anime. And then an asteroid hits the ground and it's just forest now. Now for some reason it's in a forest with a convoy driving on the ground. Oh yeah, it's not only the convoy now, now it's a whole ass army running on the ground for, for whatever reason. And for some reason there's human-like soldiers fighting these alien technology type of... I guessing this is the resistance that looks like they're coming straight out of, out of Halo. So I guess the humans lost against the resistance, obviously because the resistance like Halo soldiers, and now it transitions into like this zombie filled wasteland. So there's two guys hunting and they shot a deer, and the deer made a cow sound. Listen up. Alright, I'm not like an animal expert, but I'm sure deers doesn't moo. But one thing that actually looked good in the game was the chainsaw on the tree, when it was cutting down this tree, but it transitioned before the tree fell. So I'm guessing it doesn't have like a correct animation for the tree to fall, or it just looks very janky. So it also seems like you have character customization, but with the character customization, it seems like your character's firearm also changes. So I'm guessing that's gonna change in the future if the game actually release, even if it's a real game, you know, this could just be another day before. So your character is able to lay down certain objects like sleeping bags and crafting tables. And if it has crafting tables, I'm sure you'll be able to craft some sort of weapons, I'm guessing, or some sort of armor. And then after that, for some reason, it like transitioned into a F1 racing vehicle driving down the street. That does not look like a normal vehicle. Otherwise, that's a vehicle you can craft on the crafting table. Who knows? And not only that, alright, I have to talk about this. Your guy walking in with a flashlight doesn't look that bad though. It really doesn't look bad, alright. And then he walks down and then his zombies for some reason is in the cave. And the running animation, bro. You can seriously see that's an, that's an asset. There's no way that's not an asset. And if you throw a molotov, for some reason it's also copied from PUBG. You know, the throwing direction thing but all right if it works it works you know the best part about the trailer is definitely going to be the base building which you're going to see right now and that looks amazing you know the lights that part you can seriously see is an animation that's that was made in like blender or something because that was way too smooth to be a player i'm, I'm dead serious we saw it with the day before and I, i'm 100 serious that's not a game that last bit of the trailer really seemed like it was going to be a fun game, if only it wasn't 74 genres in one game. And for me personally, I think they took the mixing of genres a bit too far. It seems like it's a 7 year old creating his captions dream game, you know, his dream one. But if, if they enjoy it, you know, let them enjoy it. But if they are trying to scam you and actually ask for money for this mess, for this junk of a game, I, I'm serious, I'm gonna trash this game. I'm, I already am. But I don't think you should buy this if they're gonna ask money and I don't even think they need to promote this trailer. It seems like it's gonna be like this $20 Steam sale game, you know, you know those, you know, <laughs> you know those weird ass games on Steam that's like sells for $20 and have like five players online once a year, you know, 
one of those i think it's going to be one of those but uh if they enjoy making this game they would enjoy developing this game i guessing they started a studio without any game like experience game developing experience and uh, now they just want to like make a good game if they develop experience from this by using nothing but assets i understand that but you can't charge money for that then there's no like handmade things unless there's like unless the blueprints you know that's the only thing like man-made other, other than th i bought this from like the unity store or something <laughs> but anyways thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think about this game and i'll see you guys on the next one Mer